Hey guys, welcome, welcome back to the channel and to another episode of Alt Archives. You guys really seem to like these videos and I like making them. Today's video we're talking about Demonia, which is arguably the most well-known alternative shoe brand out there. And it really does have a cult following, but literally like no backstory, no history whatsoever. So let's deep dive into the almost non-existent history of Demonia and see why they're so popular. Demonia was established sometime in the 1990s. Some articles say 93, some say 99. They were established by their parent company, Pleaser USA, which sells sexy and alternative shoes. Think like stripper heels, so like the very high stiletto heel shoes. They were founded in 1993, which leads me to believe that Demonia was founded after 1993, but on the Demonia cult website, which we will get to in a second, states that Demonia was started in 93. The confusion continues. When researching this video, I found literally nothing on the history of Demonia. Pleaser was even more confusing because they have a Pleaser USA website that claims to be a wholesale website for Pleaser and other Pleaser ventures like Demonia. But they also have a Pleaser shoes website that seems to be their main one. And literally on the website, it says new and improved website. But I literally could not tell you how old this website is or how new it is. It also says on the website that they're a partner retailer for Pleaser USA. <laughs> I'm so confused. I don't understand. And Demonia also has a similar level of confusion when it comes to their website because their main website claims to be a wholesaler of Demonia called Demonia Cult, which kind of makes a little sense to me because we know Demonia wholesales to other alternative brands such as Dolls Kill, but I don't understand why they don't have their own dedicated website. Is it their dedicated website? It paints itself as a wholesale, which makes me think it's like a third party company selling Demonia. But then on the Demonia Instagram, they list Demonia Cult as their website. So I was really confused when researching this because I was like, was I saying the wrong name the entire time? Was it always Demonia Cult? Or was it just Demonia? But no, it, it's Demonia and their website is called demoniacult.com. Was demonia.com taken? I. That jumbled mess aside, let's talk about the reason why Demonia is so popular. And the answer is swing 815. And you're probably like, actually, what the fuck does that mean? <laughs> what are the words that just came out of your mouth? Well, that is the name for the most popular Demonia shoe in the entirety of the company. <laughs> it's the shoes normies think of when they think about goth girls. It's been memed so heavily. These are the it girl shoes in the alternative community. I've been wanting a pair since I was like 15. When this shoe first became popular, I really have no idea. There's no definitive timeline, but I want to say around the MySpace era, there was another shoe that was the most popular before the Swing 815 shoe, and it was called the Transformer 800. And from what I could see, it got really popular because Abby from NCIS wore this shoe like all the time, but they have since discontinued it. You can buy it secondhand, but it is technically discontinued from the Demonia website. So I'm assuming Swing 815 got its popularity because it looks pretty similar to the Transformer 800. But yeah, I've seen the Swing 815 swinging around the internet for a while now, but I never knew what it was called until I was researching this video. I actually thought that maybe the popular shoe was the Damned 318 shoe. Please tell me why they look exactly the same. I know there's like small differences to the shoe, but they look exactly the same. It took me 10 minutes just to figure out which one was the shoe that everyone is talking about. The brand surprisingly has a lot of different types of shoes to choose from, from like classic to like rave-esque shoes to even boots with matching ankle cuffs. <laughs> Their prices range from anywhere from $60 on like a sale to $150 plus dollars. They've never strictly claimed that their products were vegan, but every one of the shoes that I clicked on had a little vegan icon and said that they were vegan leather in the description. On the topic of their products being vegan, I stumbled upon an article by sustainablelivingguide.com titled, Is Demonia Ethical or Fast Fashion? They broke down Demonia's practices, but it was all coming from a very assumption-based point of view. They claim that Demonia has outsourced to China, which makes them auto bad. They do state made in China on the inside of their shoes. The article goes on to say that we can't even know what sort of labor laws are going on behind closed doors with Demonia, but just because a product is coming out of China doesn't mean that it's automatically bad or unethical or unsafe. Later in that same article, it talks about Demonia not being vegan because they specifically don't provide proof or ex tell you exactly what material they're using, therefore it must be real leather, which fair for not providing exact material they use because 
it literally just says vegan leather. But according to Compliance Gate in 2019, in the US, you must disclose the use of imitation or artificial leather, and they go on to provide examples. And on the inside of Demonia shoes themselves, it does say all man-made material. So does it count? I guess. I'm no expert, but I think they legally can't say they're vegan if they're not. Good on you.ego, which is a website I have referenced here in the past for a lot of my alt archive videos, gives Demonia a rating of we avoid as current as February 2023. I wish this website would go into detail as to why they avoid this brand and like sources backing up their claims, but, but you can take any of these articles with as much grain of salt as you want to. I'm just reporting on the research I found. So let's talk about how the customers actually feel about the products because we can go on all day about these random companies and articles that tell you why not to buy from the product, but I like to hear from the actual customers themselves. So I saw a lot of people on Reddit specifically complaining about the quality of the shoes and how they don't last more than one person said a month, some people said like a year, and that the quality of the shoe just doesn't match the almost $150 price point. On the Demonia website, however, their ratings are really high and I could not find a single total average rating of under four stars. So according to the website, people really like the shoes and usually have no issues with it. And if they do, it's a small percentage of people. I have no personal experience with Demonia or specifically alternative centric shoe brands. I own one pair of La Moda Creepers, which is technically considered an alternative brand, and I've worn them once because they're super chunky and really loud because I have a bunch of chains on them, so they're more of an, a special occasion kind of shoe. To give my two cents, I will say a lot of these alternative brands like Killstar and Demonia and even like New Rock and stuff seem by a consumer standpoint to have really bad quality shoes, and I will say some of the boots I've had in the past are from mainstream companies that make normal everyday shoes and they have lasted me forever. My favorite like mainstream normie brand is Volatile. They literally only make two types of black combat style boots, but let me tell you they're worth every cent. They range from about 50 to 70 dollars and I've owned two pairs. I've had one for three to four years and I ran these motherfuckers into the ground. Okay. Like, I wore them every single day for at least a solid year, to the point that by the end of their lifespan, I was getting a hole in the toe area. My second and current pair I've had for almost like six years, no joke, and they still look fantastic. I definitely don't wear them as much on a daily basis as I did the other ones, but I love them so much, and I literally only paid like $70 for them. Another, like, more mainstream brand that I've liked in the past is Chinese Laundry or Dirty Laundry. I think they're the same company. They just have like three different stores. These brands really are not alternative in any sort of fashion, but man are they good quality and last a really long time. So I don't know, maybe buying strictly from alternative brands isn't really that worth it. I understand wanting a cool fashionable booth that really fits your style, but at the $150 price point that Demonia wants to sell at, it seems a little risky in my opinion. I have no first-hand experience with them, but I am willing to try one at some point someday. One day swing 815, you will be buying one day. Yeah, maybe during a sale or something. <laughs> yeah, let me know if you have any experience with Demonia, if you've gotten shoes from them before, because for some reason, I could not find literally anything about this brand. I would have loved to find so much more research, but I couldn't. Yeah, let me know your experiences down below. If you guys like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. I post new videos out every Saturday, so don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss another upload from me, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!